Hi everyone, it's Cheryl. Um, I'm coming at you with a video of an experiment that I'm working on on a soap. For some reason my camera when I first started to record this was going fuzzy, but hopefully you guys can um, see. I pray that it's not too blurry. I don't know why it's blurry. But anyway, um, this is a soap that I found, a soap recipe that I found on one of my supplier's websites for eczema. And um, I thought I would try it out um, so I can hopefully get rid of this eczema patch on the back of my leg, which looks gross. But it's uh, winter time now and it's starting to get all dry and flaky again, so um, I need to do something to get rid of it because it's not attractive. So if I can have nice, beautiful skin for the summer, I'd be so happy. Anyhow, um, the blobs that you see inside there is Dead Sea Mud. Um, I will include a copy of the recipe in the uh, down bar below because this is not my recipe. I'm just going to try it out and then tweak it from there. But there, although the oils that is included in this is fairly good and very similar to a lot of the oils that I use, I might just change amounts depending on how it goes. So um, I'm going to just first start, turn down your volume by blending in the dead sea. <laughs> Now this is working with a very deep um, lie discount, so I'm hoping it's a 42% lie discount, so hoping it doesn't go too fast. light trace and then I'm going to add my, um, I'm using my webcam so I'm trying to get used to the placement. I'm going to add that back and I'm using this in aloe vera and clay which I absolutely love. Very nice spa scent. Very, um, you can smell a lot of the aloe. Um, it's just a very relaxing, soothing kind of scent. I really don't know how to describe it, but I really like it. There is a lot of olive oil in this. There's some tiny bits of shea, uh, cocoa butter, um, and stuff like that. But like I said, I'll include the recipe down below. This may or may not be my final recipe. I don't know, but we'll see. I'll probably tweak it. I see how this is. So it's definitely starting to thicken. Okay, now I'm going to add my fragrance. recipe on the website is for a much bigger <coughs> than what I'm doing. I did plug in the numbers and um, <coughs> soap calc and then I adjusted it to the size batch that I want. <coughs> so I can feel it's getting really nice and hot so this is definitely going to job. I'm not coloring it because the clay is going to give it a color of its <coughs> I kind of like. It's a nice color. Alright, this is at a thick enough trace. Oops, spilling.
some fur. And what I'm using for my mold is a Quaker Oats meal box, which I just kind of reinforced the edges with uh, duct tape. Ooh, this is really thick now. faster because of the discount. It's setting up so quickly. I was planning on doing a texture top anyway. Which I'm not so good at texture tops. Oh wow. I don't think I can even do a texture top. an experiment, like I said. Oh, it's so hot. I'm just going to kind of readjust my box. I don't know if you guys can see. It looks like a big old mess in there, but this really set up fast, so there's not much I can do. Don't know. Anyway, that's that, and I'll show you guys tomorrow. Hopefully you guys can see. I know my camera's blurry, and I don't know why. I'll try and fix it for the next video I do. Alright guys, see you later. Bye. Hi everyone, I'm back. And I'm here to cut um, the Dead Sea, Mud, uh, Dead sea Mud Soap I made yesterday. Um, it's quite hard, so I'm hoping I'm able to cut it. No problem. And it's out of my makeshift mold here with uh, the Quaker oat box, oatmeal box. But this setup, if you guys remember, really quickly on me. 
very, very hard. So that's my version of a textured top. I am not good at it at all by any means. So let me just get rid of some of these chunks. I'll clean down my table in a minute. Okay. So, oops, I guess I just pull that out too. Okay. So, um, forgive me because I can't remember right now off the top of my head the name of the soap maker, but I know her channel is Solar Candles. And her idea was to use this uh, cheese cutter. And I thought that was awesome for small time soapers like me. So hopefully this doesn't break on me because this is solid. If not, I have my knife here ready to go. Um, so since these are shorter bars, I'm going to cut this fairly thick. Hopefully you guys can see that. Make sure this is nice and tight. Okay. Actually, maybe I'll cut off the end of it. There goes my camera. <laughs> Sorry guys, it fell. This is quite hard. This is just a test, so I don't think I'll be putting these up to sell anyway. Unless they work out good. <sighs> very, very hard. So that's the bar. It smells nice. Oh, can you guys see? There you go. hard to really use this uh, cutter effectively effectively it cuts really well if the soap wasn't so hard but this will probably be cured out very soon because it is so so solid so hard I guess because of the huge lie uh, water discount I should say It's a cute little bar. Almost done here. Now, if I were to do this again, I probably won't do such a big water discount, just so I have a little bit more chance to work with it. I'm just going to cut off that much. And I was just experimenting with the Quaker Oat box to see if it would be a mold that can be used. If you've seen my video, on basic or beginning soap making that's an option for you guys um, I did a pound and a half but if you use two pounds you probably get a taller bar and that's the end piece there all right so
oops, sorry guys. To clean this down in a minute. But these are the soaps. You guys see? Probably not. Gotta bring it back here. So I got five bars and two end pieces. Alright, so I guess gotta go this way. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Can't even tell what I'm doing here. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that video and I will see you in the next when I cut the rose silk that we made together which um, it's not quite ready to cut yet. It's not 24 hours yet since I made it. So later on this evening, I will do it. All right, have a good one. Bye guys.